an injection of something refreshing to an old setup. Engao Hospital in Leh, an important health facility in the Morbi province and indeed the Highlands, is poised for better services ahead. Together with local efforts, the Australian government has committed millions of kina. From Leh, here is Sylvester Gowie. The issue surrounding the health sector is immense, from infrastructure to drugs and human resources among others. The reality from achieving its goals is still far from over. In recognition of the fundamental importance of health care for a nation's economic and social development, Australia has yet again raised its hand to assist by developing the Engau Memorial Hospital. The Australian government has committed over 207 million Australian dollars towards the Engau Hospital redevelopment. <laughs> Last week, the hospital welcomed a 20-bed ward and a state-of-the-art operating theatre. We remain a long-term partner to Papua New Guinea in the health sector. Australian High Commissioner to Papua New Guinea, Bruce Davis, says the first phase of the project has been focused on rehabilitating surgical facilities at the same time improving the quality and amount of inpatient accommodation. This will facilitate major works component for the redevelopment of the hospital commencing as planned in 2017. As part of the package it is upgrading the Guare Memorial Wing, more than two million kina worth of medical equipment and supplies, a new dental clinic and a new academic building for the Lay School of Nursing, which will be completed by the end of this year. Further improvement will be of great benefit to Lay and to the surrounding community. As I said, 1.8 million people is a big group to, uh, to be supporting uh, and we're very, very proud to be part of this uh, redevelopment effort. The Engau Hospital is the largest referral hospital in the country, serving people from the Momase as well as parts of the island's region. It was once infested by termites and was crumbling when the Australian government came on board to assist through the Manus Asylum Seekers Agreement. Providing technical assistance to the Department of Health and the Division of Health here in Morabe to strengthen the management and delivery of health services throughout the province. Assisting the Government of Papua New Guinea to improve access to and quality of health services is a priority as part of the Australian Pap Papua New Guinea broader aid relationship. The changes we see and we live with, the people in our community see, and it inspires The hospital's them. Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Christopher Kenyak, and the Health Secretary, Pasco Kase, thanked the Australian government for its strong commitment towards improving Engau. I, I for one, representing the health department, we are very happy that Engau is uh, turning around in a very big way. So these are just uh, interim uh, measures to keep services going at Engau while we wait for the new Engau hospital to be built. The Health Secretary, when commenting on the PNG government's share of funding to Engau, says there's been dialogue between PNG and Australian government officials and the redevelopment of ENGA will continue as planned. Already a lot of uh, actions have been taken on the part of the Australian government and also on the part of the Papua New Guinea government. Our technical experts from the health department have been very much involved with uh, their counterparts and colleagues from Australia in uh, putting together a plan for the redevelopment of ENGA. So while uh, the interim measures have been put in place. The long-term plan is to have a specialist hospital for Papua New Guinea built here at Engau. While there have been so many questions surrounding the progress of redevelopment works at Engau, bids have been submitted in for tender and the Australian government remains committed in providing funding assistance to the PNG government to rebuild Engau. Going ahead, we will continue to see the redevelopment take shape. As I'm sure you all know, 
Australia recently tendered for a consultant to oversee the major redevelopment work here. The tender process is currently being finalised. And following on from that, there will be another tender for a construction company to implement major works here at the hospital. And that will be released to the market. Meanwhile, Health Secretary Pasco Kase has highlighted the PNG government's plan to make Engau become a specialist hospital in the country. Plans have already been done. Australian government will uh, build the hospital and then our own government will come in to top it up to a, a level 6 hospital. So Australian government has now been okay to, to, to build a new hospital for Papua New Guinea here in, in Engau. And we are very pleased they are planning. The preparatory work has gone uh, very well. Sylvester Gawi, with that from Lay. The program tonight, thank you for watching. We'll do it again at the same time tomorrow. I'm John Higgins. Good night.